What object do you imagine when you hear the word planet? Earth? Jupiter? Pluto? Whatever your imagination conjures, when you mention planets, you almost always see something spherical. But the universe is diverse, so there are no stable patterns. Even in our solar system, there's a celestial body that completely destroys all stereotypes. This is Haumea, a dwarf planet orbiting 7.5 billion kilometers from the Sun in the arms of the Kuiper Belt. But in this global torus, there are many other exotic bodies. So why are we talking about this one? There are several reasons. Let's get to know Haumea better. Hello. This humble dwarf planet is classified as a trans-Neptunian object, that is, a celestial body whose orbit lies outside icy Neptunes. Haumea is also ranked among Plutoids, dwarf planets that correspond to a certain classification. In particular, their mass must be sufficient for gravity to transform them into a kind of sphere. Among other things, these objects are not required to clear the space around them, as required by the title of full-fledged planet. Iris, Makimaki, and Pluto, which were recently expelled from among the main participants of the solar system, are also ranked as Plutoids. And now the strangeness begins. Haumea is the fastest rotating planet of any kind in our immediate environment. Even Jupiter, the legendary sprinter of the solar system, can't keep up with it. The period of Haumea's revolution around its own axis is only about three hours, and this is an absolute record among objects known to astronomers. As a result, the shape of this dwarf planet is not similar to other bodies of stellar systems. Haumea is a classical ellipsoid. Unfortunately, it's not yet possible to observe the object up close, but astrophysicists note significant fluctuations in brightness. The diameter of the ellipsoid is about 1,700 kilometers along its equator and 1,130 from pole to pole. The indicated data, obtained in 2017, have been repeatedly refined and corrected. The half-axis of its orbit is 6.5 billion kilometers, and the minimum distance at which Haumea approaches the Sun is 5.2 billion kilometers. Accordingly, a year on this dwarf planet lasts about 280 Earth years, almost three centuries. What does this strange dwarf planet look like? Most likely it's covered with grainy ice, a kind of ice with sand in it. When scientists began to monitor the physical parameters of Haumea, an interesting paradox was discovered. It was previously believed that its density is higher than its neighbors in the Kuiper Belt, but updated data forced us to revise this information. The density indices turned out to be much lower than the initial ones, which did not fit into any model characterizing a homogeneous body in hydrostatic equilibrium. Therefore, a conclusion was made about a cardinal difference of the composition of Haumea. Perhaps inside this dwarf planet there's a heavy stone core which, like a feather bed, is covered by a loose mantle of ice. I wonder how comfortable the conditions are on this distant, tiny dwarf planet. It appears to be not for everybody. And if the concept of sand mentioned earlier is firmly associated with sunny beaches, I must disappoint you. The temperature on the surface of Haumea is not at all resort temperature. It's minus 223 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere on the celestial body also won't make you happy. It simply doesn't exist. Consequently, Haumea is not blown by hurricanes or freshened up by downpours. Granular ice covers the dwarf planet, mostly watery but with non-trivial inclusions. In particular, potassium cyanide was found in the spectrum. This addition is a little bit creepy. Among the dwarf planets, Haumea is in the leading position and occupies the fourth place in size. Imagine a huge, madly spinning stone egg. The dissimilarity of this dwarf planet to others is associated with its sad past. 
Scientists believe that Haumea suffered a major disaster long ago. The sudden expansion of a huge asteroid or other celestial object gave it a higher rotational speed and also contributed to the appearance of two satellites. By the way, if you carefully examine the surface of this dwarf planet, then a trace of this monstrous collision is visible even now, a small pink spot, although it might be just a collection of colored minerals. When mentioning the satellites of this dwarf planet, it's also worth recalling the history of its discovery and attempts to assign it a name. The celestial body was found relatively recently. The official date is July 29, 2005 and the discovery was at the center of a dispute by two groups of scientists who both claimed the discovery at the same time. The dispute was eventually resolved, and with it, the planet was given its full name, along with a catalog number. It was decided to be named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility. The satellites of Haumea were named according to the same principle. They were named Namaka and Hiaka. These are the names of the daughters of the Hawaiian deity. Deity. Interestingly, before being included in the catalog, astronomers called the larger satellite Rudolph after one of Santa Claus's reindeer. Why such a strange choice? Plain and simple. Unofficially, the dwarf planet Haumea was discovered in 2004 right after Christmas, so in certain circles it was called Santa for a long time. How do the satellites of the dwarf planet surprise astronomers? The first moon, Hiaka, has a diameter of 300 110 kilometers. A year on this satellite lasts 49 days. Namaka is much smaller. Its mass is a tenth that of its neighbor, and its diameter is fixed at about 170 kilometers. It revolves around its parent planet in 18 days. Both satellites are gradually moving away from Haumea. This happens slowly and imperceptibly, similar to our moon, which is also slowly and almost imperceptibly moving away from the vicinity of the Earth. Astronomers suggest that the appearance of Haumea's satellites is also the result of an ancient collision. Now, guess what connects the planet Haumea with the giant Saturn? It turns out it's the ring system. Of course, they're not as epic as those of the ringed giant, but the very presence of such a structure next to an object of such an insignificant size says a lot. The rings are about 70 kilometers in width and have a radius of 2,300 kilometers. The uniqueness of the phenomenon lies in the fact that Haumea is the only trans-Neptunian object surrounded by such a hoop. It's believed that the moons, the rings, and the unusual form of Haumea are all links of the same chain, which appeared as a result of an incredibly powerful catastrophe. Will we ever be able to explore this mysterious world? World. Hypothetically, this is possible. If you send an automated interplanetary probe in the indicated direction in 2025, then it will reach Haumea in a decade and a half. In this case, a gravitational maneuver around Jupiter is mandatory. Without it, achieving the required acceleration of the probe is impossible. Right now, we are rapidly rushing into the future, and who knows, maybe in 10 years the surface of the planets and their satellites will become as commonplace as reality shows on Earth. Oh, if only the number of Hubble's likes and subscribers could bring this long-awaited moment closer. But we are able to influence something else, the earliest possible release of a new educational video. Share videos with your friends, and don't skimp on moral encouragement, the universe will reward you. And if 15,000 likes are collected under this video, then the speed of the release of the new video will surpass the speed of light. Don't believe me? Check it out.